Hello folks, you know when I discovered the Bondic uh, UV glue and made a video testing the TV ads for similar products, I actually was, I found that the Bondic um, was, was the uh, first to introduce this instant plastic welding formula long before the TV ads. In fact, they have quite a history, and their line of products is really great, including an industrial size for us modelers. You know, I've been fixing all kinds of things I never thought I could. Uh, this includes making teeth on gears, uh, fixing cracks in my RC Nikko submarine, which had stress cracks in it. I couldn't fix it any other way. Um, this Bondic is really easy to use. It's strong. Uh, but it has to be understood for good results. Um, you know, that means that it's got to be used like you would weld something together to get a bond versus trying to glue something together. Uh, the strength is actually in the bead, and you can wrap it around and make a band and something, and that will really hold. I'm also going to test it on my skin as well as test it underwater. So please keep watching. Here we go. You're looking at pictures of some of the things I've used it on. Besides the fact that you could take an, and fix a frayed string, you can also run it through a, a long tube. If you had to run it through a long tube, like we do in some of the model airplanes, and we have to fish those through, and you can't get the string or wire through, and you can't tie a great big knot to get it through there, you can instantly do it like this. Take your Bondic, put a little drop on, on here like this, and on the string, and then just hit it with that. for four seconds and now I can easily pull that string right through. Now how cool is that? And I'll have to cut the string because that's on there, look at that. That's really something else. <laughs> Many of you know that I used to use super glue quite a bit to uh, if I got a cut or something, I don't have a cut right now, but I'm just gonna show you. I used to use the super glue and put a drop on the cut and then hit it with the accelerator, which hurt like hell. So I'm gonna find out what this does. See if this is gonna burn or hurt like hell. Ow! Wow! Oh, Woo hoo hoo! But it's dry. That is hot. <laughs> what am I, what did I do? Oh my God, it's on there. Well, I wouldn't recommend that. <laughs> and my, hit this on 91.5, 118, 136, 140, 145, 153, 153, it's going back down. So 153 was the highest. There it's at 149. So it's pretty hot, pretty quick. But it works. Uh, epoxy gets very hot when it dries. And uh, so does uh, super glue when you hit it with accelerator.